All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Ecumenopolis mod, which is being made by Formuser Vortinium. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is, quite frankly, one of the more interesting planet packs I think I've ever ever looked at and that's saying a lot with how many we have seen on this channel now it's actually quite a small one only adding in two celestial bodies with one planet that of course does have a moon but the planet of ecumenopolis is not just a big hunk of dirt and rock no it's actually a gigantic sci-fi planet wide city and that's something I've never seen in here before, and that is amazing. So let's jump into the tracking station and have a look at what we do get. Now, if we zoom on out to the full solar system, you will notice just beyond the orbit of Duna, we have the new Ecumenopolis, which uh, doesn't just bring in a new planet, but also a fun new little icon. I really do like the E there for Ecumenopolis. Very nice. And if we zoom on in, you can see this new system in all of its glory. Just... Just look at that. It's amazing. Now, from the mod page, the uh, mod maker was definitely wanting to go for a Blade Runner vibe here with the planet, and it most certainly does come through, especially on the surface, which we will go and take a look at here in a little bit. But first, let's take a look at the stats on these planets, and of course, starting with Ecumenopolis, which is a little bit uh, smaller than our home planet, this one being a 540. 40 kilometers in radius with a gravity of 0.9 G's and it does in fact have an atmosphere you'd hope it would with it being a gigantic city though <laughs> oh again when we're on the surface you'll notice it's uh, quite the polluted planet I mean again it's a planet-wide city and just look at all the detailing on this thing I really really do love it on the Sun side you can just see the just mass sprawling of metal and concrete and on the dark side it's just so cool seeing all of the lights just all over the place it is really something spectacular and visiting it on the surface is just well frankly like with this planet it's something I've never really seen before and I love it now, as for the moon, we have good old little Ithil here, which is 150 kilometers in size with a gravity of 0.22. Now, this one does not have an atmosphere, so the cities that do exist on it are, well, sort of pressurized colonies, but still a fun one. And again, just look at it. It's a bit more traditional looking of a planet slash moon from this angle, but once you do go into the dark side of it you can see all the lights of colonies strewn about it and again we also do get a unique little icon there the little eye for ithiel very nice indeed it's just a cool little place to visit with some unique rock formations and just all in all a very fun nice and interesting vibe that again i've never seen something like this planet pack before in the game and it just makes me happy. So let's uh, start by quickly going out and just viewing these uh, lovely things from orbit to get a bit closer of a view. And then we'll actually go down to the surface of Ecumenopolis as it is just so darned impressive. But yes, here we are with our little satellite around Ithiel. And as you can see, a pretty nice looking view from there where we have the topography of the moon showing through as well as the lights of the various colonies and an amazing view of the larger planet over there. It's just... Again, look at it. Now, I should mention some of the requirements on this. Now, first, I actually probably should have mentioned this earlier, but uh, this is, of course, still in 1.7.3, so it's not updated to the latest version of the game, and you will be required to also have installed, of course, Copernicus, as with every planet pack, as well as EVE and the Community Terrain Texture Pack. Now, those are the required ones. There are also a handful of recommended mods, but those are the three that are required to get this thing to work. And when it does, oh my, it's just 
beautiful. I really, really do like this whole thing. It's quite a show. Now, let's actually head back to Tracking Station, though, and go to the surface of Ecumenopolis, which is probably the biggest reason to love this thing. Now, uh, we are still within the light there, so we should have a good view of everything. So let's uh, jump over to my space truck and uh, gaze upon the planet. <laughs> <laughs> it is, in fact, a giant planet-wide city. The mod maker basically used the same tools that uh, other mod makers used to add rocks or trees to worlds and added buildings instead. And it's so cool. You get these very Blade Runner-esque pyramids all over the place with the corporate logos on the top to show the corporate dystopian future of this world. And we just have a uh, nice a thick layer of pollution just strewn about the entire place. It's actually quite impressive. I really, really do like this. And even though it seems a little glitchy with some of the buildings clipping through others, especially these larger pyramids, I actually think it fits kind of, you know, as it's not just the pyramid, but it's like little additional bits and bobs coming out of the pyramids. But uh, yeah, all in all, very cool. It's just a fun thing that, again, I've never seen anything like this in the game before. So having an actual planet wide city here in a Kerbal Space Program is pretty, pretty amazing. But yeah, that is. That's the Ecumenopolis mod. Uh, not a whole lot more to go over, considering, again, it is only uh, one moon and a planet that it orbits around. But, oh my, is this just amazing to see. So, if you'd like to have a look at this mod for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description, as per usual. But uh, that, my friends, is going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!